Hi, this is Mr. James here from Brown Hills Ormiston Academy. This is Year 10, ICT, Lesson 3. You're going to need a paper and pen to complete this lesson, so if you'd like to pause the video, then do so now, and then you can carry on once you've got your equipment. Today's learning is going to be to understand how to create a business card using the most suitable software. So let's have a look at the two business cards below. Can you identify any negatives about the design of the two cards? So we've got A and B. Let's have a look at those in a bit more detail. If you want to jot down some ideas, then do so now, and then we'll go through the answers. So what you're trying to spot is something that you don't like about them or you think could be better. Okay, let's go through some of the negatives. The business card on the left hand side, the text is too small to read and they've not used all of the space effectively and that's partly because there's the image has been over enlarged and that's also meant that there's been quite a lot of white space left in the bottom right hand corner. The business card on the right, the text colours used um, makes it quite difficult to read. So you can see that on the word flowers and actually all of the font type that's been used makes it really hard to read any of the contact details. OK, let's go through some theory, word processing software first. Word processing is the process of creating or editing a document and it's mainly using text. It's using a word processor such as Microsoft Word or maybe Google Docs. You might want to create a letter in word processor application then that will allow you to print it save it maybe access it later edit it and then you could also attach it as an email word processors processors have inbuilt spelling and grammar checkers making it easy to correct your mistakes you can also add images and save different versions of a document without having to start from scratch you can also import data from other files and use data from other files to create a mail merge You've also got spreadsheet software. A spreadsheet or a worksheet is a file that's used to store and process numerical data. It is made up of rows and columns that help sort data. It arranges data easily and calculate numerical data. Spreadsheets can store and process numbers and can also store text. Complex calculations can be done using inbuilt functions and formulas. Data in spreadsheets can also be used to create charts and graphs. And a good example of how a spreadsheet may be used is creating a summary of your bank balance. You've also got database software. A database is a computerized system that makes it easy to organize, search and select and store data. Databases are used in many different places. So for example, schools use databases to store information about you and teachers contact information so we can get hold of you. A library might use a database to keep track of which books are in stock, which are available and which are on loan. Data can be stored in different tables to reduce duplication and it's easier to search for specific data using a database software. You can also create reports and queries which means it's easy to find the data or produce a data sheet for somebody to look at. Desktop publishing software. This is software that uses frames to allow the user to rearrange text and graphics into a publication on the screen. It's easy to change typeface and resize graphics. It also allows you to drag and drop components to position them um, accurately. And you can include text and graphics and import them from other sources. It has a vast amount of tools available so that you can be very creative with it. We've also got something that all of you are very familiar with, which is presentation software. This is software that's used to create a slideshow to present information to an audience. Each slide can consist of a range of components, including text, graphics, sound, video, and links to other files, resources, or even different websites. This software has lots of templates already installed to it, so it makes your work look professional and very consistent. Slideshows can be presented by a speaker with or without speaker notes. You can incorporate timings for each slide, or the speaker can decide when to advance to each slide. It can also be a standalone presentation, which runs automatically. Okay, let's have a quick exam question on this. 
So a retro games company is producing a business card to give out to customers. It will consist of the company's logo at the top and contact details below. Which Microsoft software would be the best to use to produce this business card and why? So if you want to jot down some ideas, maybe pause the video and then we'll go through the answer. So Microsoft Publisher would be the best software to use and the main reasons are is that it, it gives you frames and grids that can be used to position text and images in the document a lot more accurate than any other program. It allows you to drag and drop images and other components in the right places. You can use text and graphics from different sources and there are also quite a lot of templates that can be used. We just got to be careful with the templates that you can use because when you do your coursework some templates you're not allowed to use. Okay. Other answers that you might have given, you might have said that you could do it on Word, Excel or PowerPoint. However, they're not the most suitable. And that's that was in the question, which one would you be the best to use? When you're doing your coursework, you need to be using Publisher. OK, let's continue with the project that we've been doing. So this is the scenario. Progress Retro Games or PRG is a business which will be offering retro games to the public. They'll supply these games both online and at an internet cafe. PRG have asked you to help promote their products and try and boost sales. This month, this month they've chosen three games that, they're, that were particularly popular when they were first released and they will want you to try and attract more, more customers. They would also like you to collect data from the customers to influence future promotions. The three games are Tetris, Pac-Man and Space Invaders. So this week's task is to produce a business card for the customers at the internet cafe. We should have done a logo, we should have um, designed the interface so far as well. Now the success criteria, it must have the logo on it that you've produced already and it also has um, contact details which I've supplied for you. So this is a summary of what you've got to produce and ideally you would do this on um, computer software but you can draw it um, if you haven't got the facilities at the moment to do it. Some things that you must consider during your design. It's got to have the logo on it. It's got to have the company details on it. And think about which software you're going to use. But I have said that really you should be using Publisher if you've got access to it. And you can't use a business card template that exists already. So you need to design it around a rectangle, a circle, etc. Your choice. Here are the details of the business that you can use. So PRG or Progress Retro Games, their address is 360 Computer Drive, Salty Springs, 12BYTE. The telephone number is 01360128648 and the email address is progress.retrogames at gmail.com. Now what I think you should do is design two business cards because making one is quite easy and then I want you or somebody maybe in your family to identify the strengths and weaknesses of both and then decide which one you would use going forward. Um, if you can email me them, it does say email me your logos, but can you email me your business card to the email address below? That would be fantastic and I hope to um, hear from you next week with some of your designs. Thanks for listening and have a good week.